Okay everybody, so what we're going to do today is do a two-dimensional array that will be dynamically allocated. Now as you can see I have n and m set up as integers set to 6 and 5. The reason I have these here is because usually when you're doing a dynamically allocated array you will be setting it to the size of a variable. But usually that variable will be out of a text file or something. This one is uh, just set static but in a lot of assignments you have to read one in and you won't know what it is and that's why you're having to dynamically allocate it. Okay, so we're going to start by declaring the array. We can go int star star, that's a double pointer. and I'm just going to call it array and we can end the definition right there. I'm going to go down and then I'm going to go array equals malloc size of another parentheses and integer pointer and then times I'm gonna use n as the first one n so what that's gonna do is that's gonna make you know depending on how you wanna look at it it will make uh, six columns uh, because n is six and so we will just do that and let's like I always say uh, it's always good to test as you go and you can see it's not crashing. That's always good when you're dynamically allocating memory. So we're going to go down and to, to you know to finish our our 2D array, we're going to have to do a for loop. Um, I just like the for loop. You can really use any loop you want. I'm just going to do i equals zero, and then while i is less than n, we're still using n, and then i plus plus of course. I'm going to go down, and here's where we're going to use um, m. We're going to go array uh, i is equal to malloc size of integer without the star. I actually, it, you know, it, I don't think it matters. I think the sizes are the same no matter what you use, but times m this time. So as you can see, we're making the columns go down m blocks and so we will go ahead and put our semicolon whoops semicolon right there and again test it make sure I didn't do anything wrong didn't do anything wrong so now you're you know now you have it and what you want to do with it is going to be sort of up to you that's how you declare it if, if you want me to kind of prove that it can do something let's let's populate it and this is just a simple way to populate it uh, I'm just going to do for i equals 0, i is less than n, and then i plus plus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of the uh, array columns. I'll do array 2, that's the second column, and I'll, I'll populate all of those with the number 5. Because i is going to go, that should work, right? Yeah, actually what I want to do is I want to put m here, I think if I want to populate all of them that is because it's going M down of course N would have worked too it just would have missed one so let's go ahead and again test make sure everything still works and it does so one more thing just to prove it did what I said it did oh, get that back there print F and then percent D and I'm just gonna print out one of them I'll do array uh, let's see. It's got to be the second column because that's when we populated and I'll just pick three. Why not? And if I did this correctly uh, You should see the number five and There you have it. Uh, oh, you can't see Because I am using a different screen recording process, but you're gonna have to trust me on this one. It did work Okay, so I hope this helps and have a good day